Another thing I wanted to quickly really point out is that basically seven devils. She had seven devils. She was a whore, Mary Magdalene. I mean, it's known as a fact. And seven devils, which basically you see that she was definitely, if you have seven devils in you, you're a child of Satan. Now, most, I mean, I'm, what I'm trying to say is this. There can be some, very few, children of Satan that can be saved. Someone who's filled with many devils, like Mary Magdalene, who's a whore or a whoremonger or whatever it might be, and they're filled with devils. They're, 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 they, they, they have that spiritual, you know, you know, part with the devil, and he, and the devils entered in. They are children of Satan. If you have a spirit of Satan in you, uh, if you're, if you're devil filled, then you're his, his child. But obviously, we know you have to come to that point where you receive the devil or, or devils, whatever or a devil and then at that point when someone receives that they're spiritually born into the family of Satan because it's someone it's like when you're a Christian you get spiritually born into the family of God you know you must be born again you have to be born by the spirit and one of the water which is the word of God so if you are born again you have to be spiritually born again and then a child of the devil is someone who has to be spiritually, they have to have a spirit of Satan within them, or whatever, they have to have devils, they have to receive, they have to allow that, you know, and to accept that as, um, you know, and then the devil will come into them. Now, it clearly states that she had seven devils. What about the the man at the, the gathering, the, the devil act, the maniac, you call it, the, the devil act? What about him? He had thousands upon thousands over they say over 10,000 devils within him he was definitely a child of Satan and he got saved he came before Jesus believed on him Jesus obviously gave him the gospel and the truth of the truth of the matter gave him the that he was he came to die for him he got saved so there is some children of Satan that can be saved it's a fact you just look at just common sense shows you that the Bible teaches that these men, look at Esau, he got saved, it's a fact that he got saved, you look at, uh, um, uh, was it, uh, Rev, uh, Hebrews chapter 13, and all the men in Hebrews chapter 13, or the people in Hebrews chapter 13, they call, or um, 11, excuse me, Hebrews chapter 11, Hebrews chapter 11, is the faith chapter, the hall of faith they call it, these men and so forth, that Esau was, was in there with Jacob, so he got saved at some point. So I just wanted to give that, bring that out. That some say, well, oh, well, if you're a child of Satan, you can never be saved. Don't believe that, because the Bible says that these people were filled with de many devils. There's some that've been filled with thousands upon thousands and thousands of devils, and they were definitely a child of Satan, and they got saved. So there's very, very few cases where that, that happens. But most people there, I mean, you know, when you get to Romans 1 and then you keep going down and down and down into that, God darkens your mind and so forth. God does that. God hardens your heart like Pharaoh and different people back in the Old Testament. God will do that. And then, you know, you come to the point where uh, you, you can't be, um, you know, you know, you're giving up on vile affections, you're giving over and, and so forth, you're, you're, you're giving up, you're giving up by God, and you know, you're giving up by God completely, I mean, that, that's it, I mean, that's all there is to it, but there's some within the family of Satan that can be saved.